Hi, welcome to Marky Mark's DIY, and I'm Amber. And I'm uh, Marky Mark. So, we've got a 98 Chevy Cheyenne that uh, it's only a half a ton. They don't come with a towing package. And evidently, 98's like a weird year, because 99, it was kind of standard. This one didn't have it. So, we're kind of turning the truck into a tow package. And in the video you're about to watch, you'll see the installation of the... Uh, Mirrors which extend out. the original ones in the mail so I have to take the door panel off to replace those. This piece here I thought would be a little bit tougher. The little tabs you have to pry out. I think three of them. There's a third one. Maybe four. There we go couple of screws and your uh, window knob. This doesn't have electric so I don't have to worry about that. Then the panel pulls off and slips up. And that gives us access to the hole where the mirror bolts are. here. Now if you drop the bolts and they're kind of tough, you'll have to remove this panel. Hopefully that won't happen, but we'll see how our luck goes. So I got the old mirror off without losing any of the nuts. There's the hole it's in. You can see the couple of the holes of bolts come through. Let me grab the uh, air. Sticks out further and it actually extends too. So we're going to try and put it back on without losing the bolts. I think I'll roll the window down for this. It might be easier. This one's significantly heavier. And they actually included a special bracket to quote unquote minimize vibration. So, we'll see how that works. Well, it gave a picture of the way this thing's supposed to go together. It's a very bad picture. Of course the instructions suck. It says, quote unquote, insert the correct side bracket into the upper long bolt as shown. Which of course doesn't help a lick. However, I think I might see how it goes. We're gonna replace our mirrors with towing mirrors. They extend out a little bit. Ideally, we should just be able to pop this off, pull out the foam, and have access to the nuts that hold it on. If you drop a nut, you're going to be taking off the outer door shell as well as the inner door panel. And if you've got big fingers or fat fingers, like me, the chances are great you're going to drop something. So, I've done the other side, and of course, I dropped the biggest piece, a new bracket that goes on, and had to take all that apart. It only takes a few minutes, but still. So, there are three nuts in here, 
that have to come off. And this forward one I'm working on now is the hardest to get your fingers on. That means it's the easiest to drop. They're 10 millimeter. And you could probably get a socket on the rear too. You might be able to get something on the front, I don't know. But I'm going to tackle that front one first just because it's the hardest. They're all loose now. There we go. Should be able to get it with my fingers. Actually, I've got new nuts, so if I drop it, I really don't have to take it apart. Although, if you've got bent needle nose, you can stick that on the end of the stud to help catch the nut. And of course, the lighting's bad. It's a dark hole and it's bright and sunny, so that doesn't help. And it's still hanging on by just a little bit, just enough to be a problem, of course. Got that one, and the top one's the easiest one. And I got that one too. The new one has a different stud and bracket for stability. And we're going to roll the window down so we can hold the mirror. And we have to put the two bottom nuts on first. which is uh, a little challenging because this puppy's a little larger than the other one, so I can only use one hand. That will be difficult trying to get the nut on without dropping it. I think I've got it started. I'm not sure. So the new mirror is bolted up. You can see the one uh, long bolt which is going to get a bracket to it. I don't know if you can see the other two in there. It's a little dark. But you can see the mirror is much bigger. So what they've done is they've uh, engineered a bracket for the top bolt that'll help steady it. So, that just goes right like that with a new nut on it. And the instructions repeated several times about how the mirrors not engineered for the vehicle from the factory, so they beefed it up using uh, new nuts. They gave you new nuts and uh, this bracket that should steady it. Besides the weight, of course, it's hanging out further from the door, so leverage is working against you. But also, you've got wind resistance, an added wind resistance factor. And of course, what I should have done, I guess I can still get it in there, the foam which helps act like a air dam. Not a dam, but dampener. And that'll get just squished in there. And 
and put our excess panel back on. That just pushes on. And we're done. Except for adjusting the mirrors. However, there we have it. We're getting ready for towing an RV. So this will be one of several things that I have to do to the truck. I've got to put an electric brake controller on it. And um, I've got trailer lights. However, I'll need a, it's a, just a four pin inline. I'll need the seven way for the uh, RV, uh, which does the electric brakes. So hopefully I can reuse the four way and plug into a seven pin adapter and just run the wire back from the controller that's yet to be. So there we have it, we have new it. mirrors. A relatively easy installation and we've got some uh, mirrors that'll extend out probably another half a foot or so. We'll show you that in a second after I get out of the truck. And uh, these were unbranded mirrors. They ran about uh, $80. I've seen the same things running $300. So shop around and they seem to be a uh, decent quality. So a couple things about these mirrors. They will extend out. And also they'll fold in, so you know if you're in a parking lot and things are cramped, some jerk won't, you know, do whatever. Or get between a couple trees. <laughs> yeah, there's that too. Or if you're in Ireland, you always have to do this when you drive down the road. So you're all set, as are we. So until the next time, hit the like button, leave a comment, and uh, we'll see you again. Have an awesome day.